78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share the video. So, Bernard Hopkins has been accused or was accused um, of trying to rub testosterone cream on Javante Davis during the Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia weigh-in before the fight. Now, we don't know if this is true, if he actually did do that or was attempting to do that. Um, but Oscar De La Hoya claims, and Bernard Hopkins claims, that the PBC accused Bernard Hopkins of doing so. Now, we saw the video footage of the stare of the face-off between Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia, and they stepped face to face. They were trash talking. Bernard Hopkins, who was on the right of uh, Javante Davis, for whatever reason, decided to reach out and grab Javante Davis to touch him. Immediately, Javante Davis turned to him and cursed him out. Uh, Davis's team told him, told Bernard Hopkins, don't touch him, don't touch him. You know, and then allegedly Bernard Hopkins starts talking about he's from the streets. Uh, he really about that life or something like that. And uh, Tate told him, like, man, shut your old self up. You know, blah, blah, blah. You know, they got into it. It's all on video, all, all recorded. Right. But but the the most damaging accusation is that he was trying to rub testosterone cream on Javante Tank Davis. Now, I don't know why the PBC or Tank's team felt that he was trying to do that. Uh, I don't know if it's just a precaution or if they have some type of evidence uh, or did they get a heads up that, that um, Bernard Hopkins was, was capable or was intention, had intentions on doing that. Now, we know testosterone cream is very dangerous. It, it can be used therapeutically um, for men who suffer from low T. It is a, a way, it's an external way to take it um, through the skin, like on the, like a lotion. Um, however, that way is more dangerous than taking it through injection. Injection, you just get a shot, you know, once every couple of weeks or whatever. And um, if it's a s slow uh, ester, like a testosterone cypionate or anithate, it usually, you know, slowly releases into your body. And um, and you get like a balance. Your body finds a harmony. Um, you know, instead of these up and downs, you know, you get like a harmony it balances out, you know, your levels uh, through time over time. But with the cream, doctors tell many patients that, you know, be careful if you have children, if you have a wife, because just having it on your hands or on your arm, it can rub off on them and they can get, um, you know, especially girls can get realization side effects when they start taking on male characteristics, you know what I mean? And not even knowing it, just from laying next to your wife or something, you're taking testosterone cream, and then the next thing you know, she's you know she starts verbalizing. But if Bernard Hopkins really did do this, or was attempting to do this, then that would suggest he was trying to cheat Javante Tank Davis. He was trying to get Javante Tank Davis to pop dirty before or after the fight. You see what I'm saying? Because if that cream is in his system, right, it, it penetrates the skin very quickly. So if that foreign testosterone is in Tank's system. But in one of those uh, uh, drug tests, they, I don't think they have released them yet. The findings of, of the test, they haven't released them. I don't even know if, you know, I'm sure Nevada State Athletic Commission have the test, but I don't know if they were doing VADA or anything like that, any advanced testing. But if that cream was on his skin and it penetrated, Tank would fail the test. It would be some adverse findings, and then the fight would be called a no contest. And then that would be the perfect excuse for them to come back for a rematch and, and then give some sympathy for Ryan and Tank will be labeled as a cheater. Um, now, I hope Bernard Hopkins did not stoop this low. I mean, Bernard Hopkins is, is low down, but, you know, that's that's like some serious next level low down stuff right there. But, you know, this is a, a good point brought up by Team uh, Davis. Um, shouldn't I mean at this point, if you think people capable of that, shouldn't nobody be touching your fighter, especially at the weigh in skin to skin contact with all kind of techniques going on? I don't blame them, you know what I mean? 
Uh, Bernard Hopkins is a shady guy. Um, him and Oscar up to up to no good. A lot of different shenanigans. So I don't blame him. But um, I, I want to see these drug test results. Hopefully everybody's clean. Um, but if it, if it's some adverse findings, I'm looking right at Bernard Hopkins. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking right at him because according to Oscar De La Hoya, he he says that the PBC banned. Uh, Bernard Hopkins from coming to any of the, uh, of the events after the weigh-in. Now, I don't know if that's true. That could be just Oscar making up excuses for why uh, him and Bernard abandoned Ryan Garcia at the uh, post-fight press conference. Could be just excuses, or maybe it's real. You know what I mean? Regardless of the fact uh, PED use in boxing and in sports in general is very prevalent, you know, Fighters get caught with, uh, using PEDs constantly, and uh, these slicksters like Bernard Hopkins know. I'm sure he knows different ways to, um, you know, get guys caught up in the mix, if you will. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's my two cents on the matter. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Seven Eight Sports TV. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash that like button. I'm about to hit those deuces.